We're going to show for today. The topic is HIV, AIDS, and prevention and outreach. And we have two members of the Street Works organization talking about some of their activities uh, dealing with this particular uh, disease. And of course, uh, uh, Mr. Williams, I think that we promised both you and Mr. Davis that we'd give you an opportunity during this last uh, segment to uh, talk about some of the things that you think that our audience ought to be uh, interested in in terms of how we might be able to deal with this particular disease. And of course, uh, Mr. Davis, let's start with you. Okay. Well, I think that people should know that HIV is not a death sentence anymore. Um, and HIV is not necessarily a taboo top topic. Um, they talk about sex and music, and they, you see it on music videos and on TV shows and whatnot. And I think that they, it should, it should, we, we need to end the stigma and the taboo surrounding it so we can get to educating those of us who may be putting themselves at risk uh, at, a, at a much higher rate. I think that just the ignorance of, um, of, of us not having the proper education and knowledge about the virus is what's um, <clears throat> keeping, making it, making mm -hmm. it, keeping it going the way it is. What we're trying to do uh, now with Street Works in the prevention department, uh, we're trying to engage the entire community. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to try to do in the next few weeks or so uh, we're going to try to engage persons who may own um, shops, beauty shops, um, barber shops, different nail shops. These mm -hmm. type of people who I've come in contact with on a constant basis said that they would be willing to uh, help us get the message out. Mm -hmm. So we're going to try to engage the entire community, hopefully educate uh, small segments at a time, uh, get this conversation going to where it won't be as uh, taboo to talk about it, uh, try to, and, and, and dealing with this segment of the population, we may uh, reach a lot more youth. Mm -hmm. And I think that's going to be important as well because if we start with the youth, as they get older, they'll continue to talk, teach back to the younger, mm -hmm. as well as talk among themselves about this, um, uh, this growing problem that we have and with the mm -hmm. HIV and AIDS. And of course, we've had it long enough, with us long enough, mm -hmm. up until now to have uh, really created a large number of individuals who ought to be more familiar with right, uh, what exactly. this disease is all about. Exactly. But I, I would imagine, as you are indicated, if you go into some of your local schools or whatever and ask about it, they, they really don't have that much information in reference to it. Now, do you think that, uh, 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 that the uh, educational facilities, uh, uh, institutions are putting enough emphasis upon teaching this uh, in the schools and the colleges and et cetera? I think you indicated that you were mm -hmm. in college and you never heard anybody say anything. What do you think about that? Well, I think the major issue behind that is that is when you talk about HIV and AIDS, you have to talk about sex. And sex talk in schools and college campus has kind of been eliminated. Mm -hmm. And one of the biggest issues uh, surrounding that is people don't want to talk about being responsible. You have to be responsible. You're going to engage in sex. That's how we got here. We all procreated, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And one of the things you have to do is be responsible when you engage in sex. You got to use preventive measures. You got to use the condoms you got and don't, don't be afraid to get tested mm -hmm. men we have a big issue with getting tested mm -hmm. i know myself when i was in college i wasn't going to the health department i wasn't mm -hmm. going down there every every month i was like okay i got a girl on the side mm -hmm. and when she clean i'm clean but that's not how it is you know we should go get tested and make sure that we are okay and make sure that our partners are getting tested and limit our partners mm -hmm. and engage in more monogamous relationships mm -hmm because a monogamous relationship will help prevent some of this too. Mm -hmm. And then we have the people who are doing things, they call them the down low brothers or whatever. Mm -hmm. And they, they don't, they, they have to keep it a secret. Now what do you mean? And I think we've heard, and we've got about six minutes here. Let's talk mm -hmm. about